For as long as they can remember, the Araucanian Indians of South America have been forced to defend their lands and their way of life. They defeated an invading army of Incas in the 1400s and Spanish armies hungry for gold a hundred years later. An endless stream of would-be settlers have challenged these proud people for their rich and beautiful land. The government of Chile finally promised the Puenches, the Araucarian pine people, that their ancestral lands would be protected. World wars and dictators have come and gone, but today the Puenches face their most serious threat ever, not from a foreign army or political despot, but from the electric company. We are looking now at the Pange Dam, the first of uh, six dams that Endesa, a private company, wants to build, intends to build in the upper Bio Bio. Juan Pablo Orego spends as much time here with the Puenche as he does in the Santiago offices of Grupo de Acción por el Bio Bio, of which he is founding director. He is leading the fight to prevent Endesa from building the second dam, the Ralco, whose reservoir would flood the Puenche's homelands. These people really belong here, really love this place, have this special relationship with these trees, with the river, with the land. Take it away from them, I think it's a crime. The Natural Resources Defense Council and Environmental Advocacy Group has identified 14 species of animals and plants that will be pushed to extinction if the dams are built. Esto, nosotros, ¿por qué estimamos los pinos araucaria? Porque da un fruto. Botar un pino araucaria como hacer muerte de una nuestra madre araucana. This place could keep giving life for centuries, giving water, giving oxygen, giving biodiversity, right? And we are on the point of destroying it. The power that's going to be taken from the river mainly goes to feed unwholesome industries like paper mills and other industries. The cause of this breathtaking river has also been taken up by an unexpected group of allies. Whitewater rafters have sought out the Bio Bio for the heart-pounding thrill of shooting its world-class rapids, then return to their homes on every continent to spread the word of the river's looming fate. Among them, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. has become a vocal opponent of the Ralco Dam project. Chile is famous for its uh, geothermal potential. There are many, many other ways you know, to, to obtain energy from you know, the biosphere. The dam at Pangay stands as a source of anger and frustration to Arrego. Everything that the, the eye can see, everything that the camera is showing, would be underwater. Between Ralco and Pange, the valley of the Bio Bio would, that would be flooded would be 70 kilometers long. His combination of vocal advocacy, political savvy, and astute orchestration of the international media has put a stop to construction of the Ralco, for now. Over the last six years, Juan Pablo Orego has begun to emerge as the conscience of his country. He will tell you that its heart is the Bio Bio. I think this battle called me somehow. Somehow I feel that uh, life uh, put me here, you know. There's more than your tiny human will involved in all this. I've been working with the indigenous people for years now, and that was one of the reasons I came to the Upper Bio Bio. I knew the, the existence of the, of the Pehuenche. This is our world, this is us, you know. So, yes, we're fighting for life. For outstanding environmental achievement in South America, a 1997 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Juan Pablo Orego of Santiago, Chile.